Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make like kind of a nice cheese and charcuterie board. You could absolutely swap out the different cheeses. Those are just the cheeses that Tim and I prefer to use. Um, but you could ultimately do whatever you'd like. I just really recommend that you use at least one soft cheese and one hard cheese. And then you can kind of, if you want to add more, who doesn't love more cheese, go for it. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed that. And oh, I didn't tell you guys because I ate it after I taped the video. But I, so shishito peppers normally have um, one out of 10 are supposed to be very spicy. The first one that I ate was really, really spicy. Um, so I thought that was pretty funny. I kind of predicted that that would happen. So that might happen to you. And if it does, don't be upset. At least you get it out of the way early. So uh, with that being said, um, all of the food that we had left over from yesterday um, was still in our fridge and we're gonna make a, we're just gonna eat the leftovers for dinner tonight. But I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. So we're actually gonna do um, a lemonade tasting. So. I found by like the mixers section for like different um, like mixing drinks, there were these uh, sparkling lemonades, but they're a little bit unique flavors. There's like a cucumber lemonade, um, like a rose and elderflower lemonade, and then an elderflower lemonade. Um, and I like St. Germain, so I figured I might like these flavors. So Tim's gonna join on this one. So anybody that's been missing him in the videos, um, and we're gonna give you guys an honest review. So uh, let's go try. I set up this real sassy station, mainly because I needed to take a picture for the thumbnail. But these are our uh, three varieties. Uh, so uh, Belvoir, Belvoir Farms, Belvoir, I think so. Uh, Fruit Farms, that's the name of the brand. So it says they're gently bubbling with, this one, they're all, um, looks like they're sparkling. But this one is a cucumber and mint lemonade, which sounds really refreshing. This one is an elderflower and rose lemonade, which that's the one I'm most excited for. And then this one's an elderflower lemonade. So I really wish I had some vodka because I feel like this would make this even better, but I'm really excited to try these. And we're not gonna use our normal tasting glasses because these were on sale for like, I think $2.99 at the grocery store. And I just figured, you know, they would look really fancy with these. So um, we're gonna go ahead and try these. I wanted to show you guys too, just as I was about to open these, um, I noticed that on the label on the uh, cap, it says, hold on. So the label on the cap says like what the kind of flavor you'd expect. So it says made in the family farm and this one says summery. This one says floral and this one says handpicked. So I just thought that was really nice. And these are just beautiful bottles. I'm definitely gonna save the glass. All right, Tim, which one do you want to try first? Cucumber. Cucumber? Mm, All right. Because I don't think I'm going to like it. All right, so we're trying the cucumber and mint lemonade first. All right, what does it smell like? Cucumber water. Okay. Whoa. Do you like it? better than I thought, yeah. What does it taste like? It's sweeter than I thought. Mm -hmm. I thought it would just be kind of like cucumber water and mint. Do you like it? Ew, yeah. Is it sparkling? A little bit. More like soda tasting. I thought it was going to be more cucumber kind of bland, but it actually has a lot of flavor. It's sweet. Okay. Would you buy this again? Yeah, you could buy it again. <laughs> I hate you. All right, now it's my turn. Oh my god, it really smells like cucumbers. So. I like that. That would be good in a, a cocktail or something. I think it needs more lemon flavor, but that's because I'm insane. It is very sweet, so you definitely would, I would mix it with something, but it's good. All right, so the next one we're gonna try is the elderflower and rose lemonade. It's gonna be very floral. All right, what does it smell like? No citrusy. Not a terrible smell. <laughs> <laughs> that's good too. What does it taste like? Because good is not good citrus, enough. Citrus well, meat. it's lemonade. Okay, so it tastes like lemonade. <laughs> I don't know what elderflower tastes like. What is elderflower? I think it's what St. Germain is. What's elderberry? I don't know. I should probably look that up. I probably should have researched before I did this. That's good. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, my turn. Ooh, I, oh my god, I love that. Tim's judging me as I do this. Mm. It tastes like it has Saint Germain in it. That is, that's really good. This is my favorite so far. All right, and this is the last one we're gonna try. So there was already elder, elder flower in the one before this, so I'm excited to try it on its own. What does it smell like? It's similar to the last one. Okay. And not quite as strong. So maybe that was the rose. It's actually my least favorite one. Really? It's the most bland tasting. Really? 
The first two had more flavor, even the cucumber one. I mean, this one was like more mellow. Yeah, I kind of like it though, because it's It'd be more refreshing if you wanted a cold drink, just something mm -hmm. to quench your thirst to be good, but... Like as far as like an exciting flavor though, it's like the most mild? Yeah, I don't think I could drink the like, whole bottle of either of the other ones. This one I probably could. Okay. They're almost too sweet for me. Alright. I agree with Tim. I think... I tell you... <laughs> He's bringing Deegan over. Deegan, what do you think? Yeah. I don't think he can have that. <laughs> Just give it a smell test. <laughs> Such a cutie. <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry about that. Um, I agree with Tim. It's definitely like the most mild in sweetness, which I'm surprised because I would think that they would let the really aggressive flavors of the other two um, be the main flavoring agent. Um, but they were very sweet. I thought the cucumber one was extremely sweet, and I, it's probably because they thought with the cucumber that they'd really want to balance it. Um, but the elderflower, I like that. I could. That's one that I would totally drink the whole one of. Same with the rose. So, elderflower should always be in lemonade. That's my opinion. But I'm going to get Tim's ratings and my ratings and see if they're the same. Alright, so what was your favorite? I'm going to go with the cucumber mint. Oh, I'm ri that was the one I thought you were going to like the most. I, think, I don't really like mint. Most but do you, you like cucumber, though. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really taste. Okay. But yeah, that That's one was good. It was sweeter than I thought. What was your second favorite? You got to... Put it in the frame. I don't know. Yeah, this one probably. That one? Like you said, it would have been good mixed with something. I don't think I could just drink a whole bottle of mm -hmm. it. This one was plain, but it would be good on a hot day. So it's safe to say you would drink all three again? Yeah, they were better than I expected. You look really thrilled about this. They were good. They were very really fun. What about Deegan? Will you bring him up so we can see what his favorite was? <laughs> oh, he does not like that. <sighs> Deegan! He's not. <laughs> he can put him down. <laughs> oh, poor buddy. Oh, do you not want to be part of this? Alright guys, so my votes are actually a little bit different, so my absolute favorite that I want to buy, I'm going to drink this after this video, was the elderflower and rose. That, I, I thought it was amazing. I think the rose and the elderflower together was incredible. It would be great for any cocktail. I would do, I would maybe muddle, not muddle, but I'd probably, you know, actually you could muddle some raspberries, a little bit of fresh lemon, the like the mixer, and then a little bit of vodka. I think that would be a fantastic summer cocktail, one that I'm going to have to go ahead and make. Um, and then my second favorite was just the plain elderflower because it's a flavor that I really do enjoy. And then my least favorite was the cucumber. Only because I thought it was a little too sweet and that's just for me. Maybe if I put some fresh lemon slices in there I might enjoy it more. So all in all, I would buy any of the three of these again. I want to say that they were $2.99 each, which I know that they're like not a huge significant amount, but I would say that they're super flavorful, especially the cucumber and the rose, that you could use it for a few drinks. So. All in all, really highly recommend this brand. I think it's Belvoir. Belvoir? I'm, I don't know, I don't speak French, if that's the language. Who knows? <laughs> but I would highly recommend these. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I know this was like a little bit shorter of a video, but I like throwing in these taste test ones because first of all, it's the only time I can convince Tim to be on the camera. And then he gets really sarcastic with me, which is great. And also, it just kinda, I wanna be able to eat the leftovers from yesterday. I don't want any food to go to waste, so. Yeah, if there's a brand of like any type of food that you want me to try, whether it's a weird food or something that's maybe you're not sure you want to invest the money in, whether it's beer, wine, um, like drinks that we just did, candy, I don't know, potato chips, whatever you'd like, let me know and I will absolutely review them for you because I like trying new things. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I don't know if you noticed in the last video um, that, first of all, I had the tripod, so I was able to film some of the cooking and then I put some music in. So. Leave me a comment below if you enjoyed any of that. And then um, I know that I got a request to make a farro salad um, as one of my next dishes. So I'm going to make that tomorrow. Either a farro or quinoa salad. Whichever one I have more of in my cupboard is what I'll make. But all in all, it was a great taste test. And um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good night. Thanks.